All right. You guys ready? Okay. Going live. And. Hey guys, and welcome to Style Class. And I am here with Katura, and we are in um, the store that's been redone. We'll give this a swivel around in a little while and let you guys see everything. Um, but we're gonna have a really good class today. And the topics that we're going to cover is dressing uh, for the moment that you are in, temperature-wise, yep. right? Um, but what you'll also find out is dressing for the moment that you're in goes well beyond temperature and goes very much to the vibe that you're wanting to create. And then the next thing that we're going to touch on that I haven't even told you guys that we're going to touch on this yet, I'm sorry, we've been going at 190 miles an hour this week, but what we are also going to touch on is how to put your modifiers into action. And so I'm finishing up on the next issue of The Good Egg, which is going to be a big deep dive onto that point. But a lot of you guys have written me that you're really excited because you've found your modifier. You've nailed it, you've got it, and now you've, you're like, what the fuck do I do with this thing? Like, how do I put it into use, right? Because, I mean, a modifier, is, it's good to know in right. general. Like, even if you can't put it into use, it's Just good hold to it. <laughs> Just hold it. Like, it's a good, it's a really good tool for self-awareness and everything. So it's a really good thing to know your modifier, but it's a better thing when you can put it into practice. And so we are going to talk about putting the modifier into practice, mm -hmm. and then we'll do it in the context of dressing right for the weather that we're in and creating the vibe that we want. So your modifier. Have you found it yet? So I've been holding on to a few. Yeah. I feel like this is a surprise. We were going to have a party. So is there like some confetti that's going to fall? Um, yeah. I've been thinking about how I want to show up as sensual. You know, people have written and said, oh, you're so confident. But I don't know that that's a modifier for me. Like confidence isn't what I'm wanting to show up. I want to show up as like an artist. I want to show up as someone that's like sensual and still sexy, but also kind of tough. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but a way to think about it is that sometimes confidence might be what you want to leave people behind with in terms of like, she's so confident in her creativity and she's so confident in her humility and all of those things. Like, but approachable, so. Right, right. And, and to me, that can go absolutely hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Like, I think all the decades of telling people to dress with like big gigantic honking square shoulders in order to exude confidence is like ridiculous because that really takes away from the approachability barrier. Okay, so for all intents and purposes right now, let's say that yours oh, is, is big. confidence by way of showing your creativity and showing, just showing your kind of real self. Right, it doesn't have to be showing skin, like I'm showing no. my true self. Yourself, Yep. I see you. You know, I don't, yes, and that's you. the whole point of when we talk about what these principles are, the idea of having these principles to guide you with learning how to dress, how to show your style. The reason why principles are important is they're a really solid foundation. And I was doing a, a I had a call or a IG with uh, Otega from London. Yeah. And we started out where we had talked ahead of time and I was telling her how much I believed in principles and not rules. And one of the reasons why is I have no memory. Like I have some long-term memory and I have no short-term memory. I am like Dorothy from, again, I, Finding Nemo. I forget the name of the movie, Finding Nemo. I am Dorothy. And the thing is, is the reason why I can somewhat survive being a Dorothy is that I have very strong principles. So if you come up and you tell me something that I've said what I can rely on is not a matter of, do I remember saying that? But my first reaction is always, I would never have said that. This is true, this is true. I've had a conversation and I never understand how you remember everything you do, but I don't think you remember it. You remember that there are certain things and tent poles that you would apply to things. And if that's not in that wheelhouse, you're like, no way. I wouldn't have done it. I yep. wouldn't have said it. Or if, if I did say it, I know for certain that if it was interpreted a certain way that that was not my intent. So when you know your principles so well, that's really knowing yourself so well and your core. And so if you think then, take this now to clothing, really understanding the principles of getting dressed, the principles of how you show who you are, 
once you get that down, you are never going to like go nuts trying to figure out if something broke a rule or anything like that because you're going to always have your principles. This is really interesting because I got dressed with principles this morning uh -huh. because I knew that I wanted to be chill. I was going to be running around and yeah. I started with my shirt kind of like, you know, out. And I was like, okay, I feel okay. But this wasn't just like, oh my God, Amy said big slim skin. Right. It was like, right. what are my principles? I like to be pulled together yes. also. So yes. how can I feel a little bit more pulled together? And that yeah. just so happens to fit into some of the principles and it aligns with what you've been saying. Yeah. So. Yeah, so you were able to sit there and like kind of course correct. Yeah, in your and closet. balance out my outfit. So what are, what are you wearing? What okay, so I'm wearing the Gabe in pink, which I've been living in with mm -hmm. every single shade. And I think, yeah, for me with the red, I felt like this is summer, it's vibrant, but I'm also like airy and loose. I only buttoned one button when I left the house. Yeah. Because I knew I was going to do a double fold and top. Yeah. And then I'm wearing it with the active knit wide leg. Uh-huh. Um, in the alley, which is, you know, you want to change it to my name that's fine because this is my guy my girl i know um, the alley is the good the alley yeah we've been so good. running around in it it's like it's an issue so we literally yeah we literally just ran about 12 walks we did being, thinking about it um okay and then so are these on sale what yeah yeah these are actually on sale okay. okay i mean but this is the great thing about it is if you want to see as a reference point of how yeah. this fits and all the colors that we also had in fall which is the same and so Bryn. You're wearing the navy blue, yeah. right? Okay, so this is one of the new fall pieces in the navy blue. Yeah. And what is, so let me talk about this real quick, yeah. and I want you to talk about how these colors work so well for having your summer yeah. ready. Look, it's staying here with me. I can have a friend. Mm -hmm. As Katara goes and changes. Um, all right, so I'm wearing the Gabe shirting here, and this is part of the fundamentals. And so I just want to show really really simple things for having this closet that really goes around all 12 years i mean 12 uh, months <laughs> and that it will last more you 12 than, years too it will more so than both. that even so but so with the uh gabe shirting here you know at the risk of just sounding like so um so obvious but like little things like when you button it up to the top here when you bring down the sleeve it, it doesn't just change it for the temperature, but it also very much changes the vibe. So this is one like when we talk about like having a little nerdy vibe, having something that feels like kind of oddly put together, this just buttoning up right to here is exactly what does it. And you can tell that by doing that, you really um, have so many options for how to dress in the summertime because you are put together, but you're kind of leaning into a certain vibe. So for me, when it is super hot out, which it is today, it's like 90 degrees, I'm gonna go and unbutton this down really, really low and have this be worn really easily. And then I'm wearing, what's the name? Yeah, these are the Newman jeans. And so when we talk about putting your modifier to work, one of the things, and Brent, you probably have seen this with people too, that a lot of people get tripped up and they're like, well, what are the items that I have to buy to show my modifier? And the thing is, is yes, like leaning into certain uh, accessories helps you show your modifier, right? Like I haven't worn this ring in a little while, but it's this little diamond smiley face ring that I love. My modifier is humorous. I like to put people at ease. Um, so this makes sense that of course, this is a piece of jewelry that I would own. But the thing is, is you can take an item and how I'll use this modifier as something to show uh, non-pretentiousness, right? And that I have an ease about myself, like all those things that link into what I want humor to say. I'm using this gene to say all of that. But someone else might use this gene to really try and convey that, like, they're not pretentious. Yeah. Someone else might use this gene to convey that they are a little sporty and effortless in their style. So one item doesn't, we don't, like, assign a modifier to the piece of clothing. It just depends on how you wear it. So your modifier is a bit, a bit of elegance, right? And yeah. so you would probably use this gene 
to balance out something. It so would be my chill. Exactly. Yeah. And I think another good thing is I get a lot of DMs, I think, where people say, well, you know, Amy did this or someone did this and it played into that and I think that's my modifier. And I think this kind of goes back to the way that we quote unquote like manipulate clothing, like with the snaps at the bottom yeah. or with the rubber band trick, the way that you move the clothing and the way that you make it work for you is how you make it fit into your modifier. Exactly. As well. Exactly. All right, so I'll let you guys talk colors. It's girl. Oh, she's, oh, my God. Yeah. oh my God, it's so good. She's so best in green. Oh, hi. I know. So I've really been craving more color in the season. Yeah. I'm really happy with what's out the fall, but I can wear it now, which really makes me yeah. feel good. So I'm going from the subway. I'm going from you know the office. I feel like everything. Which we literally just. Well, Amy and I were on the train, and we were like. Truly, like, why is it so cold in the train? And then it's so hot, yeah. and then it's so cold, yeah. and then you're in the office. And they open like, the doors, and the humidity, and then they close. The right. Like, so I'm oh, truly yeah. using, like, you know, all of fall for me as a tool, but this is the Stella Chino that I'm wearing in size 14. And if you can see, I mean, I clearly earlier I'm living in the color wheel. I was like kind of out here, and I was wearing a little bit of pink, and now I'm kind of living in this area of the color wheel. So I feel like. Summer's fully here. Um, for reference. Oh, you look great. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can keep so that. I'm wearing the cardigan. I know this is the shell that comes with this cardigan, which is a nice option if you were wanting to recreate this. But I'm wearing this in extra large, and I'm also wearing the Chino uh, Stella a little bit higher for me, and it's in a 14. And yeah, and I'm cuffing it. It cuffs really easily, which I could also yeah. do a little pet. That's another question. I feel like I've seen in DM. She's like, do these pull? And they definitely do. I think we saw last week on IG Live, Patrick and Grace and Jen wore it. It really does hold the cuff if you do want to use it that yeah, way. Yeah, if you look at the fabrication, it's still the same asymmetric uh, pleating that we love. But it's just like a really, it's crisp, but it's soft, the cotton, um, the same body style. And then here, Really clean. You could cup it two times, three times. It feels really good. Yeah, and it's really breathable. I think for the summer, like the warmer months, which I think is great and easy, yeah. easy to wear. I was thinking about how Amy just like blasted me in a good way about my modifier. And people, when I first started in the office, that one of mine was like not pulled together, but they think that I like to look pulled together, and I do like to look pulled together. You just always look good. That's why. Well, yeah, like, no, but like my grandma, I grew up. You know, with people that said, like, you have to walk out the house and you have to, like, have it. You can't look like you just got out of bed. So I always feel like I try to, even when I'm trying to look like, you know, as they can say, like, I'm trying to look like I'm easier. It's still not the same vibe. So, yeah. but you, um, but you are at this. And I think it goes back to, you know, you do understand yourself. You do understand, like, what your core person is and what you're for, like, what makes you feel good. And when you go back to, you know, just like the base of CMC and bringing in that modifier or bringing the same thing you that you feel good with, it all, like, comes together seamlessly. Yeah. So I think that's a lot of where we pull it from, too, when we say that at the office. You know, that's, I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. I love that's a little love. It's true. Um, what I do, like, appreciate a lot of you have wrote, written to me about, like, my hair changes, and I feel like that's a big part of CMC, you know, if you're thinking about balancing out how you feel and how you look and what your principles are, I do want to feel a little bit more modern, right? So if I'm wearing a cardigan, I'm not going to step her wife my way into something and make, like, that's not my vibe at all. I want to have a little bit more of an edge. So I know that, like, I can play because I'm, like, I have a bang, so maybe it's a little bit edgier of a bob, so I feel like I can get a little bit more classic in the cardigan and in the chino versus, yeah. like, pulling my hair really tight or, you know, Wearing something that feels a little bit more suburban. I mean, suburbs are nice, but I want a little bit more of a vibe. And I feel um, like this also goes back to the idea of like, you know, one piece of clothing is not gonna like make or break your modifier. It's also not gonna make you inherently feel sporty. There are ways to manipulate things. So like a cardigan can feel sort of like that separate or like very fit together, but if you are using it in a different way, it can also relay a different feeling. Yeah. You know, go with that. Amy, I was talking about hair. So how like hair kind of just switches up vibe. We talk about like a pony versus Yeah, a pony versus a um, you know, wearing your hair down or when I wear my hair curlier or wavier, it all makes kind of a difference with my principles. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, because hair is a way to lean into the modifier big time. Yeah. Because I think too, like for me, okay, so I'm wearing the tricotine mm -hmm. soothing uh, pant. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, this is the more wider one. Yeah, this one has the um, the seaming almost similar to the Sid. 
so it comes forward a yeah. little bit. And I've already explained to you guys my Dorothy thing. Also, I'm on Fall 24, so that's why I have a hard time remembering the names of things. you got a lot of big things happening. Yeah. This is a big thing, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> so what I wanted to show you guys, though, in terms of buy now, wear now, this is one of the things that, like, when I'm looking for a pant, if it is in a wool fabric that is still quite light, so this one is, um, I would say it's as light as a tropical wool, but it does have a slight herringbone weave in it. And But what this means is that when it is loose and off the body, it really, it, it can be worn in such a broader way across different um, seasons. And I wanna show you this top. I, so many uh, women at Space 519 got this when we did our event there in Chicago this last week. I love this top. And when I was trying it on in front of Elaine, what she was commenting was that it was really interesting. As long as we left these straps, it actually makes it so much more versatile than if it were shorter straps. Because right. if it's shorter straps, it just kind of hangs and you only have an option of like tying it in a bow. But with the longer straps, you can do this with it. You can bring them all the way to the back and run them through the back belt loop. You have a great cocoon there too. I know. This, is, this shirt has all the great shape. So you can do that. And then of course you can do um, an easy half tie. And then I'm not gonna show the full on pussy bow, but you, you know can do that is. easily. <laughs> and we know how I feel about that word. Um, so you can do a half tie as well. But what I love about this is just how Bren was wearing the darker colors and something quite bare. Mm -hmm. When you've got something more coverage, with more coverage, and then wearing it in the lighter colors, mm -hmm. it really works out as well. Did you show the color? The color wheel? Oh no, I didn't, because I thought they were gonna be oh. like going bananas. Guys. It's, okay. It's a sticker. It's a sticker and it really is designed to fit right on your phone. Yeah. And what I love I about the little color wheel is when we were doing, oh yeah. This is for a size reference. Yeah, there you go. Um, when we were doing the appointments at um, Space 519, mm -hmm. what this was the best consultative tool, but not in that cheesy like 80s, like. Yeah, just a reference. Yeah, all of them, not in that way. Um, it was in the way that people came in and they were really like, they felt like they were pressing the gas and the brake at the same time in their dressing room, in their closet. And so what happened is for them, they had this, the ring one and two, and then ring four covered and all that good ring three stuff was missing. So um, imagine shopping with this because you have it on your phone already and you're just like, wait a minute, I'm always ring one. Let me dip into ring three. Exactly. Yeah. I'm ring, ring three. three. Ring three. Um, so I want to show you something with, do you mind handing me the jacket? Sure. Yeah. So this, um, this suit is one that if you are um, executive mode, we just had a CFO in here from Melbourne. She was amazing, that woman. Yes. With lots of CFOs uh, who wear a tibby and they tell me that they like the analytical approach to um, designing. But this is um, one of the tank tops from this past spring that's on sale. And what I love about it with this pant is it really has enough polish to be very put together. It's very effortless and then I think so. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted to show you was that this is one that for, for summertime, if I were like some big shit executive or if I had that in my future, this is what I would absolutely wear to my life, my fabulous execu life. Uh, but I love it. And so this is something that absolutely is going to go full on into wintertime. What I love with this lapel here being uh, lapel-less, basically, is that it gives you, um, it, it just, we've got options because you've got the layering piece here. And so you can be quite bare. And what's nice is if your modifier is, um, you want to leave people feeling like they noticed you when you were in the room or that mm -hmm. you're, I don't know, essential. Memorable. What are the words? Memorable. But like, 
to me, being able to like be comfortable with all this skin, it's mm -hmm. like there's a lot of pleasure your face to up in that. really show up. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about paraben, for me, my balance is if I am going to have all this skin here, mm -hmm. then I, I do want to pull my hair up into a ponytail or something. Mm -hmm. It's like really embrace that your face is really. Yeah, and I think too, like if I'm showing all this skin somehow with my hair down, it seems like more of a outfit. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is um, when we use these descriptions to describe how we're feeling, I think what's really key is that you, they become a vocabulary that we can use without someone else having to personalize it. Right. And I've talked about this before, but like, you know, sometimes when Tracy used to say things to me like, well, I would never wear my hair like that because I would feel too blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I would always take it so personally. I was like, okay, right. bitch, like game on. I don't want to wear my hair down. You know, like, so, but the thing is, is she was just expressing how it made her feel. And so yeah. we know that like, if you're using clothing to make you feel like yourself, to help you really push through on your modifiers, then it makes sense that someone can feel something in their clothing that has no bearing on you whatsoever if yeah. they feel differently. Um, what I wanted to show you is in the summertime, I'm not going to be wearing this with it, but this is um, later on, I can go with the full on suit look here. So mm -hmm. this just goes right over the top or you can wear it as um, a piece like underneath with the lapel sticking out like this. And then it gives this kind of like all this like multi-dimension. And so this is a great way that like with just one simple add-on, mm -hmm. this piece becomes like much more than just a summer piece. Yeah. Whatever. So can we talk about sizing? Yes. So Amy, if you're referencing yourself, Amy is wearing a size four. Right? I am. And so this is a great place for us to figure out, is this fitting it into the slim, the tailored, or the engineered oversized. We know that Liam is our engineered oversized, so we could knock that off the box, mm -hmm. right? So this also has a shoulder pad, which is a little bit more tailored, Sorry. similar to um, the Marlin and the Max. Yep. So this is a new jacket, a new blazer, and she's also wearing a size four in the bottoms. And so I think of this as like a Stella and Sid had a baby, a really yeah. beautiful baby. Yeah. Um, and so it's fitted in the waist, so this is more of a mid, you would say? I would yeah, say a mid, a, it's, it's mid to high, and it's, so right now it's hitting me right at the belly button. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so, and it's, it's really nice and loose, but you, you can tell that it absolutely fits me because, again, you guys know that you do this, but in the dressing room, you don't want to do that, like right. that, because if you have to, I guess the difference is, is when you put your pants on, like you see where it lays, right? Yeah. So when it's laying, if you look down and you could like toss Cheerios down there because you got a big gap, then it doesn't fit. It's too big. But in order to show me the bigness, if you have to do the wiggle first, then it's not too big. Right. So if you went like that before doing that, it's not too big. So you can see like where this just naturally sits on me. I have no, I can't. It's not right. It's, it's, it's sitting in the right place. And then um, I'm going to put on the other pant okay. in this style because I want to show that was one that a lot of people, right when they put it on, their initial reaction was that it was too big. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, no, it's not. And then some of them were like, yeah, it is still. And then I was like, okay. Because you're buying it. Well, I, I think that what happens with everything that has pleats, right? It has pleats and it's also tailored. I'm a little fuller in the middle and I know where the Stella sits on me. Um, it sits on the same, every fabrication, it sits in the same place and that's my expectation. And I'm okay with that. I'm five, seven and a half, call it five, eight if you're feeling lucky. And you know, this, we always just, round up. I mean, why I not? Round up. We should always round up for all things. Um, <laughs> I agree. So with the pant that Amy was just wearing, I'm going to take the same size that I'm taking in the Stella. Hi guys. I'm going to take the size, the same size I'm wearing in the Stella in the pant that she was wearing. Anything that's tailored, the tailored waistband, I'm gonna take. I also had on the active knit, which I was wearing in a size large. I could take an extra large, which I wear in most things, but in active knit and pull-on knits, I wear a size large. So I think that that's a good differentiation. Um, and 
woven full-ons like the flashette and the wilt, I wear a size extra large. Yep. What about you? Um, for the, I, I'm usually an extra, extra small, but then again, sometimes when it's with the elastic waistband, mm -hmm. I will go for an extra small. Mm -hmm. um, and and what, style, what style would that be? That would be more in like the pull-on wilt joggers. So woven? The crispy nylon. So those are also woven. So yeah, this yeah, is. Woman. There's. A, I feel like there's a rhyme and reason to this that we yeah. gotta like decode for people so they yeah. can really like understand. So you're wearing an extra extra small and knit pull on. Yeah, and, and like you, things like this where the waistband is very much like like defined already. So there is a little stretch. Where is it? The stretch to this. So this has this shearing on the yeah, side. It's not really stretchy per se. It's not. Um, yeah. it has a side zip. You're wearing the nylon. I am wearing the Italian sporty nylon sheer circle skirt. Mm -hmm. Remember that one. <laughs> um, I'm wearing a double zero, so this is my true size, and it sits right above my hip bone. Where's your belly button? My belly. Not button. that you have to expose yourself to the people. Uh, my belly button is probably like. So this is sitting right an inch above. below her it's below belly, my button. belly button. Can you show them the shearing? If you could yeah. just come a little closer to the camera. So, so if you can see here, like this. This is a good fullness, like turn a little bit more. So this looks like it's been like kind of tucked, but this is supposed to be here to add a little bit more fullness here and it's flat at the front. Yeah. So if you're taking a t in tailored skirts, if you take a size- Extra, extra small. You would take that in this skirt as yeah. well. Yeah, cool. I love this skirt, by the way. It is like, the Italian Sporty Nylon material is just like the ultimate, I think, 12 mower. It's very easy to layer up, layer down. And for me, it's just very comfortable and also very easy for this month. But something I know I can wear, like going into the fall, going into maybe not like the dead of winter, but you know. I mean, you could but wear like, this going actually, into fall yeah. with a Bronson boot. Yeah, or, but like the dead, you know, when snow is a fall. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wear it too, because it's not. It's not Are you wearing the Charlie? I am. I'm wearing the Charlie shirt in the blue. Um, and again, I rolled my sleeves back to Amy's point. Like this was, you know, when it's warmer out, this is how you nibble your clothing to like A, fit your modifier and B, fit the season. I wasn't here, but I feel like, did you talk about your modifier? I did. So tell me, because I, I think I know. We always oh. call you the lady of the house, but like, oh. is it ladylike? Yes, it's elegant. <laughs> yeah, elegant, ladylike. What, is there another? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think for me that it's just where the comfort lies. And I think for me, sort of in the, you know, Amy's modifier being irony, mine is a bit juxtaposed to this idea of chill. Mm -hmm. And so for me, having the CMC as my face allows me to have the flexibility of elegant and chill in one, which I really, that's where I find comfort. I can see that because yeah. I think every time you're wearing things that are more elegant, you're still quite relaxed in them. It doesn't seem like you're uptight or like look pretentious or like you. you can't you know go from one place to the other yeah and so in your I, you told me but in your trolley I, I i too am dorky guys oh my god my memory i'm like can you just tell me your size in the, in the shirt this is an extra small so in dory <laughs> amy has me calling dory dorothy guys dory in dory. finding nemo oh finding nemo <laughs> Dorothy. No, Dorothy. I like Dorothy too, but I think Dorothy probably. Oh, Dorothy! <laughs> How come you guys didn't correct us? That's oh, so hilarious. Yes, Dorothy's from Wizard of Oz. Oh so you mixed them. I love it. I told you. I see. But see, the, the thought was there. Me. She she was ninety five percent. That's how bad I am with names. So yeah, like, we have a baby train to walk into the room, and I'm like, what's his name? I'm married to him. Oh, too. Me too. He's got grayish hair. Franks. <laughs> and that's more like mushrooms or whatever people take. The good ones. The good ones. The healthy ones. <laughs> So we can get our well, memory together. They're all kind of, anyways, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> you can call me your size. Your size is in the Charlie is in double zero. If my size of the Charlie is an extra small. Okay, extra yeah. small, sorry. It's in tops, I'm usually an extra small. Got right. it. Zero, wow, I don't know why that was so hard to convert for a second. I, I just grabbed this one off the rack, so just to give people an idea. So this one is an extra, extra small. Mm -hmm. So I just want to show you when something is too small, what to look for, so for me, I definitely, um, I'm wearing a small in this, or I can wear an extra small, but I prefer a small. But you can see it's just pulling right there on the muscle, and of course, anything will go cover these, it's no problem. Um, but So we're, you're so, wearing the Stella. Yes, I'm wearing the Stella. You're wearing the... What's his name? Rodney. Is it Rodney? Rodney? I call Rodney. it Rodney. Thank you. So the Rodney is a flat front. I'm wearing the Stella, which has pleats in the front. And so what I wanted to show you is, so in this one in the dressing room, um, a lot of people, when they put this on, they did feel right away that it was too uh, big for them because they did 
you know, this little number here. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, I like to shimmy it down as low as it will go because this is the idea of this pant is that I think what, what we have created here is the idea of wearing a low rise pant without it having that baby carrot mm -hmm. rise. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that baby carrot rise is what goes straight into you know, Britney Spears. I was going to say Britney. Early 2000. Yeah, maybe one more chance. Yeah. Or what's that other? I don't know. Gossip Girl. It all, it all fits in. But anyways, that's that's the vibe that I don't want. And so if you size down in it, and if I did, what is going to happen is it's going to sit a little bit higher. So it's not going to sit as low as I want it to. And then the rise is going to be a little bit shorter. And this, guys, is where it is really subtle. This is the stuff that, for me, I feel prissier when I'm doing it. I don't feel as chill. I don't feel modern. Um, it doesn't mean that you won't feel any of that stuff, but this is how I feel when, when I have that, you know, when it's just not as cool, especially to me in a chino, because a chino has to work extra hard, because that line between Ann Taylor and then, like, not and yeah there. you know it's it can be a fine line and it's, it's easy thin. to cross and that's why you you think that you see one in an ant tailor and you're like you know what i need that i need that i'll do that you get and home you get it on and you're like i don't need that no no the next thing you know you're well i'm not gonna go there but you're um, weird you're like you're not basic you're, you're seeing people basic. and you're like let's get back to basics let's get back um and then when you try things on too that feel a little bit too big what is helpful is to turn them under right away and so get them to the length you think that you are going to want it mm -hmm. that immediately makes you feel better so i'm going to let this one go full length remember i'm only five four and a half so and I know I usually tell the truth five. today. I'm I tell the truth. Five, five, seven and a half today. I was like, I'm, I'm telling the truth. We're being honest. Um, but when it is down to the floor here, the pant feels a little bit bigger on me than it does here. So just getting that length right makes a big difference in the perception of your height. Also, this is a chino that you were meant to own for the next like 20 years. So you're going to keep washing it down and washing it down, and it becomes like a second skin to you. Um, so for me, my plans of washing this one down, I really like it the size that it is. I also, like earlier I had on the bigger tops, but I also like wearing a really slim top like right. this as well. And um, it's funny because I looked down at our feet and we both, I have on the alley and you have on our new sandal in mm -hmm. brown and they both are tools. Like yeah. it's a different tool. So you're getting the skin and it has a little bit of a little lift. Yeah, a little, a little lift. Yeah. Hi, welcome to TV. Um, especially in the flat dicky. So to me, this is where I do want a little lift. Um, it makes me feel a little more polished going to the office and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously I'm wearing, this is the jersey from summer and I'm wearing it with the new dicky here. And then just for an easy day as well i'm going to wear this and this is one too like for a lot of you guys who have kids and you run around and have a lot of kid activities i really love it when you can find a piece that obviously oh how chic is that moment okay anyway, sorry i'm sorry it was so good um, it's just so chic um but you know something that i can wear in a city in soho and feel really like myself but if i did have to go do something with my kids who would beg me not to now because they're 23 <laughs> and 20 but let's pretend like they're not let's pretend like they're younger and they still love their mom um then but matt matt you still love your mom, I love my mom very much. Aww. Aww. Um, but then you can easily like just give it this yeah. And so if you've got kids, you know that you're running around in sand and dirt and grass with them and you don't want to look like an asshole because, you know, when we talk about being appropriate for the moment that you're in, it's not appropriate to be running around in a heeled sandal in the middle of the grass and it's not appropriate because your pants get soaking wet and you never really feel like an ass. So a lot of these things about what's appropriate to wear and what isn't. A lot of the things are based in practicality. Yeah. You know? I think most of mine back to practice. 
Exactly. And then what's great too is you can easily then understand how in the winter time I'm gonna just throw a sock on with this sandal and then probably a t-shirt that's higher up underneath. And then I'm gonna throw on the chuda cardigan. And so this is where I wanna point out a key differentiation with Tibby from other brands is that just because this is chewed up doesn't mean that we destroy everything else in the yeah. collection. Like when we are designing the brand, it really is following the principles of the book that we've laid out. And so it's a mixture of chill and ease and modernity and classicness at the same time. Like this is literally the epitome of CMC here. What size are you wearing? I'm wearing an extra, extra small. Okay. Yeah. So this is too small for me. Also with, I don't, I don't like this so tied up against my skin, but Your pants. this is how, and then my pants are size 20, 27 or four, 20, whatever that is. Um, so anyway, so that's the thing when we talk about the reason why I wanted to come up with the term creative pragmatist is I wanted to envelop a concept, a way of dressing and being, which is to be creative, but you can still be highly pragmatic at the same time. And so it gives you permission or it gives us permission to design such a bird so that you can have you can have like this ring three t-shirt color here yeah. but then we can also have a huge appreciation for mint and reds and things yeah. like that because it's all fitting into the principles yeah. rather than how a lot of other designers not by choice i think by merchandisers forcing them to do this but they have to be like if you're a distressed brand it's all distressed yeah. if it's oversized it's all oversized yeah. everything's very intentional okay. intentional and repetitive yeah and so, well we're intentional we're intentional not okay, okay, yeah that's what i'm saying we're intentional yeah and i think that's why we take so much time to describe the fits yeah. because someone really may be like i'm wearing a foreign stella and then you know, I wanted this pant, but this one's like super fitted. I'm like, yeah, you bought the pant that was literally called the super fitted yeah. pant. Yeah. Um, so, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe. Exactly. Everything is intentional. <laughs> intentional, exactly. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Bring on the pretty seat both in skirts right now. Oh, I know. Well, I'm always, I'm kind of living in skirts um, lately. Yeah. This summer. <laughs> In general, I think it's so easy. Um, I know I can be quoted as saying like, this is like a full on a jogger for me. So it's like my skirt version of a jogger. So what we those of our... you that have this in white, um, and you also have this in black or in khaki, yep. we are now introducing extra large in the fall. So we had small, medium, or extra small, small, medium, yep. and large. So I'm wearing an extra large in this denim skirt. And I really think this has a lot of, <laughs> I always expose myself to you guys, but um, it's power packed as a fabrication because it's really cool. Uh, and it's a great it's wear like now. It's distressed denim it's without like, that heavy weight. It's enzyme washed and it's, so it's funny, I used to design denim a long time ago, but I don't remember all the things, but it's like, yeah, it's just washed. It has maybe salvage. So I'm wearing it out. This is the same body style as the Charlie because I would totally, I like that little bit of skin. So I feel like yeah. when I said this central thing, I always want like something showing or yeah. I want to like open this up. I don't want to get too naked. So I don't want to be, you know, like Barbie yeah. girl with this tied in the middle. So I'm going to probably tie it and tuck it in the back to do the same little yeah. V. But I think that goes back to sort of like big slim skin idea. It's not like skin to be like show. It's skin because like you do need that to sort of balance it out. Right. Well, I'm, I mean, even though I'm wearing extra large, I, I have to be honest. It would be, I feel like today is Honesty Wednesday. You know, I, I think you should just rename it that. Uh, I don't think Amy would be down for that or the people. But um, I probably measure it like a size 18 in my hips. So while I can fit things, right, this is the Charlie is a little slimmer on me. So it's slimmer here and that's okay. I tuck this in or I do a front tuck which I can actually show you. I do just one button here, cross it over and tuck it in, which I'll step over. Ooh, and show. Well, I want to say, I don't think okay. I can see okay. you Stay right do here. that. Okay, stay, stay right tuned, here. everybody. Okay. Um, and this is part of, what she's wearing is part of the Fall Fundamentals collection, which is now 
on the website. I will quickly go through my sizing while she's doing that. I'm wearing an extra small in the top. I'm wearing an extra, extra small in the skirt. And these shoes are a 39, but I'm actually a 37 and a half. This is just what we had at the office. The shoe fits fine. Just what we had at the office. Um, and this lovely skirt is on sale. I know the store has a few, so check it out. And then the other colors are also still available. Oh, that's a sweetie. Yeah, so I feel like... <laughs> she was think, like, hold on. Well, thinking about central, right? I come over and it's like not buttoned at all. So I feel like I'm laying into it with modifiers. If you want to change yeah. them, you can, so don't hold me to it. But none of it's buttoned. I just cross-folded it and I feel like I get one piece dressing. Can you hand me the dress that's right there? So this fabrication comes in three pieces. It comes in the shirt, the trolley shirt, and the skirt, and it also comes in the full dress, what I would still do and roll up the sleeves with the open shoe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's funny because that shoe really does make a difference with how you feel. So yeah. what I brought up here is I um, was getting ready to change out of the sandal because I thought that I would feel a little too press with bare foot yeah. in the sandal with the denim. But the thing is, is when I put it with this denim shirt, I didn't feel too prissy because this denim shirt has so much coverage and edge to it, right? Now this, the way that I'm wearing this is heavy for right now, right? But um, if it was winter time, as it gets colder too, there's a lot of different things that you can create with the tie, which is great. You can make it like into a whole skirt vibe. Or whatever and if it's this cold i'm going to put something a little more covered on my feet probably a sock at this point but i wanted to show you this skirt is absolutely one of my favorite skirts and um it's just i love to show I where it's it. hitting on your waist i, I, I love this skirt would you say this is like the skirt version of the sand no this is well i mean maybe but it's it's a skirt that we ran um couple times mm -hmm. and a really great patent leather mm -hmm. and this is the first time that we've done it in a rigid denim like this mm -hmm. and I love it because it is just so straight up 90s vibes um, so here with the sandal I'm a little bare for me with the sandal so what I'm gonna do and the, again this is like where modifiers come into play because someone else is like okay I was done right I'm good with that sandal and that bare arm and right um, I pray just like if I'm gonna do all this bareness here, mm -hmm. then I crave the crop, yeah, yeah the pedro. Yeah. Like it just feels a little more. Um, it's me. funny because Sarah would appreciate the heritage and this whole look. She's like, oh, oh this is so straight up her yeah. with this. Yeah. So um, this raw denim is great, guys. So it, I, <laughs> everyone who's put on the sand when they were in Chicago. It, it's a full-on love affair. It's a beauty. I want to say you said rigid, but I, I beg to differ that it's not your typical rigid denim because it has a softness to it. Yeah. And it has a light, it's more lightweight than most rigid denims, I would say. Yeah, you're but not it has gonna, substance. You're not gonna chafe yourself. Right. You're not and you're not gonna like squeeze in and be like, oh my god, I can't eat, I can't move. So I don't I think it's rigid in that it's like it has structure to it and it feels like a quality denim. Yeah. Um, but for sure. Um, and then one other thing as a modifier for me is I always love something that has a sporty vibe to it. Mm -hmm. So this weekend I went out to dinner, we were sitting outside, and it was just so nice wearing the brown sporty nylon skirt. Yeah. And then, make, or no, the black one, and then I mixed it back with the, um, the brown sporty nylon mm -hmm. hoodie here. And I just love this, and I want to uh, put it on for you guys because I don't think we've had it on that often but this material here to be so um, refined and put together but so light and easy like this is a great travel piece for any of you guys needing something that can go onto an airline and then fold up course, into your Zuka's bag fold it up and then it's gonna like go right under a um, You know what, I'm not going to be grabbing wrong sizes yeah. and I'm going to confuse you guys. But um, anyways, guys, uh, the good ick this week, it is on how to take different items in your closet and make them work uh, against different modifiers. Um, so what that means is that you don't have to get tied up in the notion that one item is for one modifier and maybe you have the wrong item. 
uh, sometimes it's about taking a physical item and wearing it with something different to make it work for your modifier. And sometimes it's about just simply twisting it, hiking it, or um, folding it a little bit differently to work with your modifier. And um, yeah. okay, so the length for Amy and for I and the skirts, because I think that's important. This is, yeah, Grace has worn the skirt and wears the skirt a lot. So the fall one collection is on Ecom right now. And um, we did our second break in the, or the last break in the sale items. So you should check that out. Um, the alley sandals there, we do live in that. Um, oh, next week, Katura and I are gonna be in San Francisco and in Oakland with Sherry uh, at McMullen's. So if you haven't signed up for a styling appointment, please do. McMullen is handy with them. Yep, and uh, if you uh, go on to McMullen, she'll get you all set up and it's gonna be really great. And um, the book club is Friday. So that's a yes, awesome. book club is Friday. And then we're gonna go down the, the hole for runway and start working on that soon. So I will then probably disappear for a little while. But um, okay, is there anything else? No, no housekeeping. All right, guys. Oh, and also, you've asked me about some international retailers carrying Tibby, and I've been trying to list them. Sometimes they don't get everything up on their e-com right away, but they will. Um, but I don't have very oh much God. control. Should they, we should show them a little bit of the store. Really uh, yes, fast. sorry, we're at the store for a yeah. reason. We wanted to show you guys. Yeah, Matt, do your little magic. But Katara and I will say goodbye. Bye.